to learn the use of Pearson chi-square test statistics as a statistical tool to measure the association between two nominal variables or between two or more nominal variables. Remember that we learned in the previous semester or in the previous term the use of Pearson product moment correlation as a statistical tool to measure the association of the variables that are measured in a scale or in a continuous level of measurement. Remember, in our data set here reflected on screen, we have smoking history and we have esophageal cancer outcome that is measured in a nominal scale. So this is dichotomized either yes if you have smoking history and no otherwise. On the other hand, the other variable highlighted is esophageal cancer and this is measured also in terms of either yes if you have developed the disease or no if you did not develop the disease. The researcher's interest now is to test whether smoking history is significantly associated with esophageal cancer outcome, either yes or no. So remember, Pearson product moment correlation is not appropriate to use to measure the association of these two variables because these variables are not measured in a continuous level of measurement. Instead, they are measured in a nominal scale. So this is dichotomized in terms of yes or no, and the other variable is also dichotomized in either they develop the disease for yes and no if they did not develop the disease. This is the welcome home screen of the JAST software. Remember in our previous term, you know how to import the data set. Please save your data set in a .csv format because the JASP software cannot successfully import an Excel file as of this time. So you are encouraged to save your data set in a .csv format. You click Browse. In my case, I saved the data set in desktop with the file name cancer, cancer outcome.csv. And then you click Open. In this hypothetical data, we have 109 all in all. So as you can see, for the first participant or subject, this participant has a smoking history and develop the esophageal cancer. The other participant has had no smoking history and still developed the esophageal cancer, and so on. Remember, the goal of the researcher here is to determine if smoking history is significantly associated with the esophageal cancer. Pearson product, or I mean Pearson chi-square test statistics is the appropriate statistical to use because the variables are not measured in a continuous scale. The variables are measured in a nominal level of measurement. So all you have to do is to click frequencies. This button is between regression and factor button. And then you click contingency tables. You may uh, drag your smoking history in rows and your esophageal cancer in, the co in columns, but you may also interchange if you want. The result of the analysis is still the same. You may also want to click statistics and then click adds ratio. Later, I will explain what's the, how to interpret the lag adds ratio data. You may also want to click cells and then Click on percentages for rows. You may also want to click percentage in column if you want. But in this case, I want you to click row. And as you can see on screen, you already have the result of the analysis. So let us copy the result of the analysis and then here. Eyeball analysis and the result of the data, we can see that for those participants who had no smoking history, we can count on a higher percentage of those who did not develop the esophageal cancer and lesser percentage for those who developed the esophageal cancer. For those participants who had smoking history, we can also check a higher percentage of those who developed esophageal cancer than those who did not develop. The question now is, is this association statistically significant? We have here the result of the analysis and it shows that the chi-square value is 9.552 and the corresponding p-value is 0 
So by default, we can set our alpha level at 0 0.05 or at 0 0.01 if you want. And we can conclude that the association between smoking history and esophageal cancer outcome is statistically significant because our p-value is less than 0 0.05 or less than 0 0.01 if you set an alpha level of 0 0.01. So remember that in our analysis, we can see, again, that those who had smoking history, higher percentage developed esophageal cancer than those who did not develop esophageal cancer. And on the other hand, for those who did not, who, for those who do not have smoking history, lesser percentage developed. Yes, lesser percentage developed esophageal cancer. And higher percentage did not develop the esophageal cancer. We have here the result of the ADS ratio of 1.229. So the interpretation here for 1.229, 1.229 means that respondents or participants with smoking history has 1.229 times more likely to develop esophageal cancer than those participants or subjects with no smoking history. Again, the ADS ratio of 1.229 suggests or depicts that those participants or subjects with smoking history has 1.229 times more likely to develop esophageal cancer than the counterparts.